7 Weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Well, hey, happy Tuesday, Ohio Valley meteorologist Tyler Vanji here. Let's figure out what to expect for not only the rest of this work week, but more importantly, that weekend. I know it's on everybody's mind after a day like today. We kickstarted that weekend. Beautiful conditions lingering into the Monday, but then today it was cold when we woke up. Now it's not all it's not so bad. It's not all doom and gloom. We're actually throwing in some sunshine. The rainfall is making its way out of our region and that low pressure that brought the rainfall is now beginning to die and fly off the screen. Now it did introduce a little bit of northerly winds, but now the winds are switching back to the south. That's all thanks to this warm front we're going to see roll through as we head through the next 48 hours and not to mention we're on the unstable side of the high, so that's why it wasn't the nicest of weather today, but we'll dive more into that in just a second. Check out the temperatures clear visibly uh, across the surface here across the whole east coast that we were all impacted by that low pressure, not to mention that was the low pressure that brought just severe weather across the Midwest. And then as it began to die, move through our region, we only saw the remnants. So just some rainfall really didn't have to deal with the thunderstorm or that severe weather. And that's going to be the simple trend as we move forward. Here's how it all looks in the upper atmosphere. Sort of a southerly wind, but it's more so zonal. That means we're not seeing a whole lot of warmth moving to the north and not a whole lot of cold air trying to push south. That's good news because that limits our chance for severe weather. But moving forward, we'll see that cold air trying to push down in the west. And that's our what's going to bring our warm front as we head through Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday look absolutely picture perfect. Maybe spend some time out so outside, maybe cut the grass or maybe go for a few rounds of golf. That's what I would do on my day. But Wednesday and Thursday look rather nice. After that, we'll head into the weekend. Friday night, more so after sunset, we'll see the spotty chance of some thunderstorms rolling through, but it's more so going to be scattered thunderstorms on that Saturday. If we see things lingering around, not a whole lot of movement within our atmosphere, things could linger into our Sunday, but I am expecting more so after lunchtime in the second half of our Sunday to clear out to get us ready for that next work week. So let's talk about temperatures. On the other hand, we do have to deal with the rainfall, but Wednesday through Thursday, that warm front's going to provide 80 degree temperatures. So it's going to feel more like this weekend, sunshine back across the board, not to mention Wednesday night, we actually introduced a little bit of northerly components to our winds there as well. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to head outside. I don't know, have a bonfire out back. Temperatures drop as we head into the weekend, all due to that cloud coverage. Just unfortunately keeping things a little bit gloomy as we start that weekend. But here's how things look the next 24 to 48 hours as we head through predictor tonight. Really nothing to complain about. Maybe crack the window. Temperatures are in the lower 50s. It's not too bad, but it's more so up to your liking. I prefer it to be a little bit warmer. We'll step into Wednesday morning sunshine across the board, so make sure you have those sunglasses. We'll introduce a little bit of cloud coverage, and there come the northerly winds I was talking about Wednesday night. So if you're outside Wednesday night, I don't know, for a baseball or football game, keep that in mind. It'll be a little bit breezy. It's going to be a little bit cold. Maybe just grab a sweatshirt. We'll head through Thursday morning. Beautiful conditions, not a cloud in the sky. That trend continues up until about Friday night. So we're going to end this week, unfortunately, with the rainfall and head into that weekend. Not nearly as nice as it was this past weekend. There's a look at your seven-day forecast. Monday into Tuesday for next work week, we're still in the 80s.